Hi everyone. You know, I started to do this video and it wasn't even 10 o'clock. Well, now it's past noon because I had to wait for my battery to charge. I never think to check the battery and I was talking and all of a sudden I heard click and the thing went out. Well, I thought I would tell you about, well, well while I was waiting for it to charge, I watched, uh, let's see, I watched Keto Cricket. It's a real very small channel and she was talking about making a nut-free, grain-free chicken parm, and she used spaghetti squash. You know, I cooked a spaghetti squash not too long ago, and when I opened it up, I was hoping for a lot of seeds. Well, it had three seeds in it. That was all it had. And, you know, I can't let anything die. So, I took the, the three seeds, and I planted them, but only two seeds came up. So I've got a spaghetti squash going. I'm hoping the snow will melt soon enough so I can get it outside because it's getting kind of lanky and I don't want it to die. When they're in the house, they get pretty spindly and they get kind of weak because they really need the sunshine and be outside. But I can't put it outside. It's too cold. But anyways, that's what I, I thought of this. I thought, well, I'll share. She made the spaghetti squash. I made a sp spaghetti squash a while back, but I saved the seeds. And then, I have another something I want to share with you. And you know, when you eat your avocados, <laughs> I can't throw the avocado away either. I actually plant the avocados. There's, these are avocado trees growing. There's, there's right now in this one, there is one, two, three, four, five, six avocado trees growing in this pot. And then I have a few more in the other room that are growing in other pots because if you've seen in some of my videos I have a lot of plants. I used to kill these plants. Now I can't kill them. Now they grow. Then I thought I would tell you of what I do when I do watch your videos. I watch, um, I catch up on them on Saturday. Sometimes during the week uh, after work I will watch a few. Well I like to crochet and I like to use things that don't cost any money or Mm, I like to recycle things. Well, lately I've been making baskets. And this is a basket that I made. I'll bring it a little closer. This is this is um made out of plastic. This one's kind of pretty cuz it's it's made with a clear plastic and you use your shopping bags, your Walmart or your or your grocery bags, whatever ones you get from whatever store you shop at. Okay, I was making baskets. I made a lot of baskets. Then I thought, well, maybe I'll make something else. So then I made um, this little, this has got my fermenting bottle inside. I'll show you the hole in the cap. My husband made a hole in the cap so I can put, so I can put a blooper, you know, like when you're making wine, you put those bubblers in there and you, when you ferment something, you put the bubbler in there and it will bubble and let the fermentation take place and this is this is actually um, those VHS tapes where I, I want I crocheted it so because it's strong and you can tie and, and bunch it up I did that and then well let me see I'll take this down over here this is this is also VHS tapes I'm sure you've seen them hanging on my bulletin board these are going to be streamers I have a building outside. It's a 10, I think it's a 10 by 12 building. That, because I like to craft, I thought I gotta get rid of these things because I make so many stuff. So what I'm going to do is I've got some of the stuff in the building and when people, and I'm gonna put these streamers outside so they'll blow in the breeze and they'll look really pretty. And hopefully somebody will stop by and wanna buy a really inexpensive basket or a real inexpensive purse. I make purses too. I'll show you that. Let me hang this back up. I make purses. You know those pop tabs that everybody uses? Well, this is a pop tab purse. I look online and I, I find things that are, are kind of fun. This is one style. This one I made because we were going on a trip and I wanted to go over my shoulder. Then this is the style I was making. And I used to carry one like this all the time to to um, wherever I went and I put a button I've loved buttons this has got a beautiful beautiful button on it. it's an old button and it's got like cloth inside of the button it's it's really very pretty 
and I, I put buttons on some of them. Some of them I didn't. This one I put a zipper on it because I wanted to close it up, so I put a zipper on. And these are just pop tabs. If you drink a lot of beer, you've got the tab. If you drink a lot of pop, which you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be drinking either one, but people will give you these if they know you're collecting. And at work, I wear this. It's a lanyard, but I wear it around my waist. I don't wear it around my neck because if I wore it like this and I leaned forward to talk to the child or help a child, they'd be pulling on it or it'd be flopping in their face. So this I, I put around my waist and I wear it to work. Then I get tired of making baskets and I get tired of making purses and I move on to something else. So then I decided I'd make these cute little door hangers that are you put a little notebook inside, you put a pen, hang it on the door, and if somebody comes, they can leave you a note. Well, I got carried away, and I made a few. They're all different sizes, depending on what I felt like doing. Then I got tired of those, and I stopped making those. And then I went on to something, I was, I don't know what I was making, but I decided I would make something that was really big. And it got bigger and bigger, and I thought, well, I'll just put it on the top of one of my stools. Makes a nice cover for the stool, but it was supposed to be a basket. But they collapse. They need something to help support them inside. I do have some buckets that I have put inside the, the um, plastic bags to help support it, and my kids put their chalk in that. Then there was another one. I didn't want to put a handle on these. So... My kids, when they come, they put them on their heads. They fit their heads. This doesn't fit mine. My head's too big. But they put them on their heads, and they go marching around the house. So these are the things I do when I'm watching you. So I, I have a good time listening. I like the videos where I don't have to actually watch. I like it when I can just listen. Because um, when you're busy, you're, you've got, I've got to Chromecast to the TV and I turn you way up and I can hear you so darn good. My husband comes in and he thinks I'm deaf, but I'm not really deaf. I can, this way I can hear without um, having to really watch. But when I do, um, when there's a lot of quiet or just music, then I have to sit and watch because they're either showing something or they've got some writing that I'm supposed to be reading. But I do like the ones that just talk. And I like... Um, I just like them. It makes it easier. Well, that's all I'm going to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed my show and tell. In school, we do show and tell. I like these. I think these are neat. Um, but these are just your bags from the store. You just, you just cut them. I have one that's all ready to go. I've cut off the, I cut off the bottom and I cut off the, the arms and I'll, I'll fold it later. And I've got this one I is waiting to be done. This one's not done. But they're just they're just your shopping bag. And you'd be shocked how nice they are. I did make one. I only made one because I didn't feel like making another one. But I did make one of those homeless mats that I donated and it's 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 um it's, it's okay, but I, I could have done a better job. What it is is when you're crocheting with plastic, it starts to get wider or narrower or something, something happens, depending on your tension. And I actually have to crochet two different ways. I crochet the way I was taught, and then I have to crochet the way that everybody shows on videos to do the plastic because the plastic has to angle the way you're going whereas with yarn it's a more giving thing. When I do the purses I crochet the normal way and then sometimes I switch and do it the other way. I'd have to show you sometime. I have two different ways. Mine looks like a sewing machine going when I'm doing the crochet hook and when I make my slip knot I do it all together different. Well this was a craft, crafty craft I guess video. I um, haven't, I've, I've not had anything to eat yet. I did, well, you wait a minute, I did. I had something. I took a spoonful of um, hemp seeds. I love the taste of hemp seeds. And I just took a teaspoon and chewed on it. It's like eating nuts. They're very, very tasty. I think I'm going to put some hemp seed in um, some 
melted chocolate morsels, the, the ones that used to taste bitter to me. I think I'm going to melt some with some butter and let it harden and then I'll make like myself a little treat because I really, I don't really eat a lot of um, sweet things. I have to be in the mood and I'm sure others have to be in the mood to do that too. Well, so when you get your seeds and you don't want them to die, I hate things dying, just put it in some dirt and you'll be surprised it'll grow. And your avocados, you could have trees galore. I've got about, I've got a lot of trees. I've got one in the other room. I've got two more or three more in the other, in the, with the plants, with all the plants. And every now and then I have to say, oh, I'm sorry, but I have to throw you away because my room gets so full. I gave away my dining room table just to make room for these plants. I didn't use my dining room table very much, but um, when I did, it was a beautiful oak table. So I gave it away to my daughter so that I'd have more room for my plants. And when the summer comes, when the snow melts, my plants will go out on the porch. And then I will sit there on the porch, have my coffee, and read my book, and have the plants there by me. They'll be enjoying the sun, a little bit of sun, a little bit of shade. One year I put the plants out in the back section where the chickens are. Not a good idea. They all got sunburned and I had one poor little tree. It lost all its leaves. It looked really, really bad. So I chopped it off down at the base and the thing grew back. It grew back to even prettier than it was before. Well, I'm going to have to say goodbye because I don't want this to get too long. It's already probably too long for me to edit. I like to try to edit without my husband if I can. So I will talk to you again. Thank you for coming by, and we'll talk something else next time. Bye.